Hello there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey. I wanted to take a few minutes and go through some of the different elements of hockey speed. First we'll go through it in terms of theory and then afterwards I want to show you a few different game applications and video clips of players doing it properly as well as incorrectly. So let's move ahead. There are really, when you break it down, there are two elements of hockey speed. First and foremost is power. You want to make sure that you're getting the most power out of every single stride, or you'll be you know, you'll be wasting energy. And you know the more energy you waste, the more energy that you're not using to go towards your overall hockey speed. So we want to get a very technically sound, powerful stride. We want to make sure that we're getting the absolute most out of every stride that we take. Once we get that nailed down, then um, we'll be able to move on to the next aspect of, of hockey speed, which is foot speed or agility. And that you probably guess what that means already. Basically, that just means uh, you know the frequency of strides, the the quickness of the turnover. So you want to combine those two elements and have the very most powerful stride that you can uh, with the fastest rate of strides that you possibly can. And if you can combine those two, you'll have a very quick overall hockey speed and that's you know exactly what you want to be able to do to to play the game at the the highest levels so what we want to talk about in this particular video is the power aspect if we break power down you know there are a lot of different elements of power but there are three main keys that you can use to achieve good skating power the first key is kind of a common you know, any time that a player says, you know, how come I can't do this skill or how come I can't do that skill, no matter what skill that the, the player is talking about, usually the first answer is first and foremost, well, are you bending your knees enough? Uh, you know, whether you're skating forwards, backwards, trying to pivot, trying to do a power turn, you know, any of those aspects, if you're standing up straight, you're not going to be able to do, uh, you know, to do it as effectively as if you've got a, a really strong knee bend. Now, one thing that I want to kind of throw as a caution for you is um, a lot of times when coaches tell players that they got to get lower, players tend to bend at the waist. So, you know, they, their knees stay straight and they're bending at the waist and they get, you know, more and more hunched over as they bend more and more at the waist when really in all actuality it should be if the coach is telling you to get lower, what you need to do is bend your knees more. So let's you know make sure that we're making that distinction as we're coaching through our players. You know, if I say bend, bend lower, it doesn't mean bend at the waist, it means bend your knees more. On those same lines, we want to talk about no head bobbing. Head bobbing is you know when you're um, you know your knees are going from bent to straight, from bent to straight. And if your your player's head is bobbing up and down, well then each time that player's head comes up. Uh, that's energy wasted to go up instead of to go forward. So we want to make sure that uh, the player's head is staying nice and level as they skate, and you know that'll help them to achieve the most power per stride and a greater overall uh, speed, as well as help them keep their balance. You know, if a player gets hit while they're in the middle of standing up straight, there's a greater likelihood that they'll get knocked down. So I always tell my players, keep your knees bent and you know no head bobbing. Make sure that that knee bend stays solid throughout the whole range of motion of your stride. The next key to achieving skating power is to make sure that the players are pushing off to the side with their strides instead of straight back. A good kind of a good rule of thumb is approximately a 45 degree angle. So, you know, a lot of times especially with younger players, you'll see them, you know, they're pushing and their feet are moving, you know, really really fast, but they're not going anywhere. And a lot of times that's due to the fact that they're pushing straight back uh, instead of off to the side. So get your players to, to concentrate on pushing off to the side at approximately a 45 degree angle. And as you see our videos, you'll, you'll get a, a better visual effect of what I'm actually talking about here. So that's the second, the second key. The third key is something that's a lot of times that's overlooked is a toe snap or a toe kick. Uh, different coaches have different terminologies for this, but we want to make sure that you have a full extension of your stride. So don't just go through the motion and you know get a nice smooth stride. Get to the end of the stride and then snap the toe. So point the toe at the very end, and if you're doing that properly, you'll actually you should be able to hear it. It'll be a kind of a whoosh whoosh as the player is snapping through that toe, and just by doing that, we'll give the player actually a, a, probably about an extra probably two to six inches depending on the technique and how they're 
doing that, but those extra couple of inches worth of stride will add more power um, without much more energy and will, again, help to achieve that greater skating power, which once combined with the foot speed will help the players to have a very, very uh, improved overall hockey speed. So those are the three keys to skating power. Uh, let's move along now to the video uh, where we will take a look at some actual players in, in, uh, in action and we'll be able to point out a few more of these things so that we can get a better visual picture of, of what this should look like. All right, let's move along here to the video analysis portion of the tutorial. What I want to do is show you some footage that I've had. Um, this is actually some footage from a couple of years ago uh, of one of the teams that I've coached. And we'll go through it. I'll let you guys watch it full speed. Uh, you can kind of make your own little uh, little analysis on you know what, what you think you're seeing, if it's you know the goods and the bads, and then uh, you know then we'll go and break it down frame by frame, and I'll give you my take on it. Okay, so this is Jordan. He was one of our top players, um, fastest player on the team that year. And this was a couple of years ago, so I think he was a first year Pee at the time. So let's go ahead and watch it full speed. We're just doing a basic crossover start, blue line to blue line. Very simple, straightforward for uh, video analysis purposes here. One more time, full speed. Okay. Excellent. Let's bring it back to the beginning here. Uh, first thing that you'll notice is Jordan's got a very uh, beautiful looking stride. His crossover is excellent. Okay, his crossover start, not a lot of wasted energy there. A lot of times on a crossover start, you'll see players that lift up. In fact, some, people, some players even lift their stick up with them. And they you know, pull up, and then as they get their momentum shifting, then they transfer that momentum into forward, you know, forward motion. Jordan doesn't waste any momentum by going up here. He just goes straight from his ready position and do a strong crossover start which means he's not wasting a lot of momentum there with upward motion. Okay, As he gets moving, you can see that he's got an excellent knee bend, which is kind of the first key. Okay, His stride is pushing off to the side, which is perfect there. And watch his, watch his extension. Okay, He gets a full range of motion, excellent toe, toe kick that we talked about a little bit earlier. Okay. So he's pointing that toe at the very end of his stride, which, like I said before, is going to give him that extra couple of inches worth of stride that will increase that foot speed. And it's, it's a couple extra inches, and uh, or sorry, not increase the foot speed, increase that power. So he can increase that power without increasing a whole lot of effort. Okay, so his three keys are there. Uh, you know, nice, no, nice knee bend, pushing off to the side and getting that full toe extension. Okay, very good stride. Okay. Now there was one small detail though that I did point out as I was watching this with Jordan um, that he can improve on. Let's see if you guys can pick it up here. Watch Jordan's hands. Okay. His hands are moving side to side. Anytime that you have one hand on the stick, I want you to uh, you know and coach your players this. Anytime they have one hand on the stick your arms should be moving front to back, not side to side. By moving, th by moving your arms side to side, that creates a, a conflict of momentum. So your lower body's trying to do one thing, your upper body is actually going against that. So you're trying, you know, your body's trying to move in a forward direction, but your upper body's trying to move in a side, side to side direction. Um, so that, you know, he, he could add a little bit more speed if he, um, you know, were to fix those those hands and, and since he's watched this with me he has you know, like I said this was a couple years ago he since then has um, you know, has corrected this and uh, you know like I said he's one of our you know one of our fastest skaters so that's um, that's that's you know hockey skating power in a nutshell remember the three keys as you're watching your team as you're coaching your team um, start with the technique you want to start with the power work power drills first Make sure that everybody's on the same page as far as what their technique should look like, and uh, you know, don't be afraid to correct them. Um, you know, some coaches will will let kids go on and on and develop into bad habits. Start right from the get go. Correct, um, you know, correct that stride, and then make sure that you point out to the kids as you're moving from you know from from slow motion technical powerful drills into those quicker foot speed drills. Okay as you're moving from half speed to full speed, 
your technique doesn't change. 